Obama does not care about black people. So, um, in this video I'll be talking about Obama among other motherfuckers that I don't agree with right now. Alright? So I'm going to start off with my Facebook status that I posted yesterday. Um, shout out to everybody that follow me on Facebook. If you don't follow me on Facebook, you are bullshit. Fuck with me. Like in there. Description box. Um, Facebook status reads, so let me get this straight. Obama can speak on gay issues and the things that go, and the things that they go through, women's rights and the things that they go through, but he can't open his mouth to speak on the crookedness of the justice system and privatized prison complex scheme, aka new slavery. That's working against black people, and black people are cool with that. That's the question: How are y'all cool with that shit? Right. And before y'all hit me with the oh, oh, he ain't just a black people president bullshit. It does not change the fact that he could at least mention the bullshit that goes on and the injustices that black people face in this country all the time. Now, we'll first deal with the fact that when you hear the, oh, he ain't just a black people president bullshit, it only happens when black people expect him to do something or say something for the group based on the fact that he is half black. And a lot of people, well, he's, he's half white too. That don't matter to black folk. They support him because he's black. Period. I know he's half white. They know he's half white. Doesn't matter. They still want to honor him as a black person. And I'm going to give you an example of that here in a second. All right. But first of all, we're going to deal with this. The only people, only time people say that, oh, he's not just a black people president is when black people expect something from him. When they expect him to say something dealing with a certain situation. Dealing with this last little Trayvon Martin trial uh, and Zimmerman getting off, he says the jury has spoken. That's it. No outrage. No, well, you, that shit's kind of fucked up. And even if he doesn't want to speak on that, there are plenty of injustices just in place in the system against black people that no one mentions this. Mentions this. Tripping. No one mentions. <laughs> no one mentions these injustices towards black people. Nobody. Not just Obama. You even have these famous people that got to that level. That they are black. They got to that level. But they didn't. They don't even mention it. They don't even say anything about it. There are some. There are a few. There are some people that even like. Uh, I posted an article on my page about Stevie Wonder. To say he's not even. He's not ever performing in Florida again. And today, uh, changed the laws down there. Motherfucker, like, I can't come in. He's blind. That brother is blind. And if a blind man can see the injustices that's going on in America and us with eyes can see colors and shit we can't see it we're you know acting like the shit doesn't fucking ex exist but Stevie Wonder can see the shit and he's blind as hell he's not going back to Florida I even seen I had a link posted on my team page about a boxer that says he's not wearing the American flag anymore fuck that shit shit's fucked up over a black dude taking a stand a lot of, but it ain't a lot. Like it should be hundreds of stories like this, but it's not a lot of. Cause people ain't they ain't opening their mouth. They get to that level, they're not gonna open their mouth about the injustice. And a lot of people was want me to make a video like I had a problem with the brother not wearing the flag. Fuck the flag. I'm gonna come here and tell y'all that right now. That's how I, I'm not dedicated to that flag. It means nothing to me. I'm sorry. If that makes me not a patriot or whatever like that, like that flag don't mean anything to me. I'm I'm black. I'm black and I'm not upper class. So, you know, that flag doesn't really mean anything to me. You know, we have what we call over here a democracy and we have freedoms and things of that nature. Because, I mean, I'm not dedicated to that flag, but I'm not trying to really go to many other places to live, you know. Um, push come to shelter. Now, I should get real stupid over here. I won't have no choice to go to a real small, secluded, you know. But, you know, America's fucked up and I'm going to deal with the fucked upness of it, but I'm not really trying to flee the country, you know, no shit like that. 
um, to live anywhere else. But I'm not dedicated to that flag. I'm not dedicated to the colors or nothing like that. I don't give a fuck. I'm black. I came over here, or my people came over here as slaves. So, you know, I, I'm not dedicated to the flag in any type of way. And this democracy that we have is built off of two things. And I need people to understand these two things. If you're not privy to these concepts, you understand two things. Democracy is built on capitalism and classism. Capitalism, get that money. Basically. Classism, who got that money? That's who matters. Two simple concepts. And that's what democracy is built off of. Don't nobody want to talk about that shit, though. Even the president. And black people fall for the bullshit. They got all the Obama, Biden stickers. I ain't even got to say nothing to these motherfuckers or nothing. They support him just because he's black. And to me, that's just not enough. And I have one shit even comment on the status. And I told you I was going to tell you, this is black people's loyalty to this nigga. She says that Obama deserves my respect and my loyalty. She said this to me. And to somebody, I would ask, why? Any black person that's going to say that he deserves my respect and loyalty. For a person to deserve my loyalty, they would have had to have earned it in some type of way. What the fuck did Obama do to earn my loyalty? What has any president done to earn my loyalty? These motherfuckers don't give a fuck about black people, first of all. Second of all, they don't give a damn about lower middle class people. They don't care about the group of people that on both sides, like, I'm in both groups. They don't give a fuck about neither group. Why the fuck would I even care about any of these motherfuckers? That don't nobody come out here and say no real shit about what's going on in the government from a high uh, playing field, a high level. I'll put it like that. I won't say a high playing field. I'll say from an area of, of influence where you have millions of people waiting to hear what you're going to say. No one's speaking from there. And that's somebody mentioned fucking Al Sharpton. Fuck Al Sharpton and everything that he's about. I don't agree with that nigga. I don't care what he's talking about. He doesn't represent me. I don't give a fuck what he did or what he be talking about. He doesn't represent me. So I don't fuck with him. Just because he's black, people automatically assume that all black people fuck with Al Sharpton. I'm one of them that don't. And there are plenty others. First of all, the nigga has a perm. How the fuck can you be about black pride if you have a perm? First of all, how can you do that? As a man. Nigga don't speak for me. Fuck Al Sharpton. And, and, and my thing is, fuck all these niggas that don't speak on what's real out here in society. You gonna speak about gay people? You gonna speak about women? And the only people that really fall into the group where black people are being spoken to if you're black and gay. Or if you're black and a gay woman. Then you can feel like Obama's doing something for you. Or speaking to you. This nigga speak about immigrants before he speaks about black people. Nothing. And to me, that's a problem. That's why I don't fuck with a lot of... And, and it's, it's, it's coming with my enlightenment. Because now, I expect more from black people in these positions. Whether it be Obama, whether it be goddamn Jay-Z, whether it be Puffy, any of these motherfuckers, whether it be, you know, black actors, you know, you got Sam Jack and all these other black actors, Denzel, they're not saying anything or not enough, form some type of fucking coalition and say something and address the issues. Why won't you address the privatized prison complex? Why won't you address the crookedness of the cops nationwide? This is not just a state thing. This is not just, this is a whole nation thing. And maybe him coming out saying something won't change anything, but it'll let people know, like, at least he sees it. At least he sees what the fuck's going on out here. Stevie Wonder can see it. Why the fuck can't he see it? Why won't he say something about it? The injustices. I expect that from him. People tell me, well, you're expecting too much. That's crazy. You should just support him anyway. But to me, that's crazy. 
because he's a Democrat, falling for the illusion that these are two different parties, the Democrats and Republicans. I had a brother hit me up yesterday uh, on Facebook, and he wanted to know how I felt about black Republicans. I don't feel any type of way about black Republicans or black Democrats, because the problem to me is that people believe in the illusion that these two parties are different. That's the part I have to go pack. Let's go before you even pick a party. So I don't give a fuck if you black and you pick Republican or Democrat. You picked one of the two of them. That means you fell for it, in my opinion. You fell for it. You think they're different. You think they're on different teams. And they're not. They are not. It may look that way. It may appear that, you know, Democrats are more liberal. It may appear that way. But that's not real. So I feel like the illusion of the, 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 the system in itself is the problem, not the black Republicans, what they would do. The usually upper class black people. They don't give a fuck about y'all either. And that's a problem to me. And we don't expect anything from our leaders. We don't expect anything from Obama or any of the, anybody out here. We just blindly support. But I saw the fuck I'm gonna say I ran off. God, it looks like 11 minutes. I done ran off talking y'all head off about this shit. I know y'all gonna cuss me out. Anybody that supports Obama is probably gonna cuss me out about this. And I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of the, uh, well, he's not just a black people president comments, but you know. They only say that shit when, they, when, we, when us black people ask this nigga, you know, to speak to us. Then he's not just a black people president. So it's just, you know, you can say something. You got motherfuckers that live in Florida that ain't saying shit. You got LeBron and them down there. Yeah, niggas ain't coming out their mouth. They just down there in Florida chilling, you know. Don't matter. We win a championship. We're not going to deal with the injustices that's going on out here versus my people. We're not going to deal with that. Even though we got the money, we have the resources. We're not going to deal with that shit. Because secretly, we down with them. We don't give a fuck about black people either. Illuminati shit. Yeah, I threw that in too. <laughs> I threw in the Illuminati shit. Like, oh, God. There he goes again. <laughs> with the Illuminati shit. Illuminati shit. It's real. They don't give a fuck. And if they did, why the fuck ain't nobody talking about this goddamn justice system? These cops is crooked as hell. These judges is crooked as hell. These jail systems, you knocking down schools to build prisons on top of them, but you can invest in you can invest in prisons on the stock market. Like they building more prisons. What are they what are they saying to y'all? Like, what are they saying to us blatantly at this point? What are they saying? Fuck your school, your education. We're gonna build jails instead. This way y'all niggas coming to anyway. We're going to have, make sure we have laws in place to where you're breaking the law most of the time. And we're going to lock y'all niggas up over your school. Somebody got to say something, yo. Now, I ain't got the influence, you know. So I expect people that got the influence to speak on it. That's just how I am. But, again, now we have 13 minutes. I ain't going to keep talking to y'all's head off. Um, I appreciate everybody for watching. Um, let me go ahead and show y'all real quick. This is, that's your life shit, alright? This is how I'm able to get on these fucking videos and say whatever the fuck I want to and not really worry about anything but the fact that it, be, it being real to me. Cause I live that shit, I live that shrug life shit. Y'all already know, you fuck with my team, you, you be hearing me talk about that shrug life shit all the time. Um, fuck with me, yo. Alright? Comment, let me know what y'all think, cuss me out. I'm sure this this will be interesting. Alright? Um I'm out.